So, a little over three years ago, I did a review of the Adidas Terex Swift R2 Mids. These boots in particular. And since it's been a little over three years and I've hiked at least 200 miles plus with these boots, I think it's about time to do a quick update video talking about my experience with these boots. So as you can see, I did not prep these boots at all. I don't think I've ever cleaned these boots whatsoever. And so throughout this video, I'm gonna be talking about the tread, how the boot is holding up overall, how it still feels on the inside, and if this boot is still waterproof after hiking all this time. One thing I would like to preface right off the bat is these have never been a daily shoe for me. Some people in the comments of my review video talked about how they did wear them as daily shoes. They wore them every day for work. I did not. These were my exclusively hiking boots. I wore them on all kinds of terrain, sand, rock, grass, hills, mud, <laughs> small streams, you name it. Those are the types of conditions I put these things through. It was all during hikes. I did not wear them every day, but that being said, it was probably around, I'm just estimating here, at least 200 miles plus within these last three years. With that being said, later in this video, I'll be taking an up close look at these boots and the condition that they are in. But let's start out with taking them to the river. So I think uh, this is a good place to test if these boots are still waterproof. I haven't tested them in a while. I'm really hoping my feet stay dry because this is the Elwha. It is November and it is very cold. So let's test it out. All right, here we go. Definitely want to test out around here because this is where your foot bends the most. I want to check those seams. Let's get in a different spot. I am feeling definitely a difference in temperature. It is getting colder, but I'm not quite sure if I'm feeling any moisture or not. I'm not sure if that's moisture or just because the water is absolutely freezing. I will have to test it by removing my boots and seeing how my socks are doing. So, it passed the test. And with the water being as cold as it was, that's what I was really feeling. I was really worried. I was like, uh-oh, it feels like it's leaking, but I can't really tell. It was just the coldness of the water that I was feeling through the seams. This is still completely waterproof. Now, my last video being a review, it was not surprising that that video ended up having the vast, a vast majority of the comments that I've ever received on my channel being on that one video. And I was happy to oblige commenting on a lot of the people's questions that they had on these specific boots. And if you guys have any more questions that I didn't answer in this video or my previous video, leave it in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer it. All right, now let's take an up close look at this boot. Now that it's slightly cleaner than before since it took a little dunk in the river, what I'm gonna look for is some defects or any sort of wearing on the outside of the boot that we could see. I am noticing that it is getting worn a little bit right here. It's like lighter in this area, but that's to be expected with any shoe or boot because that's where you're gonna be doing the majority of the bends. When eventually this boot does start leaking, I do expect it to be in these areas. Now this boot overall has remained a comfortable fit for me. And that might be a testament to the boot itself, but also I'm gonna keep repeating this because it needs to be repeated. I do only wear this for hikes. I do know that runners will often switch out their shoes, like wear a different pair every other day to better keep the cushioning in their boots lasting longer instead of wearing their running shoe every day. And that might be what is happening with this boot. That's probably why it stayed fairly comfortable for me these past few years is because I'm just not wearing this thing every day. 
So you might get a different result if you are using these as your dailies. So let's go ahead and look at the tread. Now this has been a lot more worn than the top of the boot, obviously. And me being in the Pacific Northwest, I do have to go to higher terrain to reach more rocky trails. Either that or on the beach, obviously. Hiking on harder surfaces is obviously going to damage it more and wear it down more, but I'm actually surprised on how well it is holding up. It still has quite a bit of tread on there and is doing quite well overall. All right, so I'm trying to think of any other questions that I could answer before this video ends. I've never treated the boot with anything. I've never replaced the laces at all. What you see is what I got out of the box. Um, let me think what else. Uh, Adidas has given me no money. This is a non-sponsored video. You'd think it would be because of how much I'm praising this boot, but no, Adidas will they have not contacted me whatsoever. And now that I think about it, these hiking boots have lasted far longer than any other hiking boot I have ever had, which is pretty amazing. And I think what best represents how much I've liked and how much I've enjoyed using these boots is the fact that uh, I bought another pair. Granted, uh, this pair was on sale for like 40% off. I couldn't believe it when I found it, so I couldn't help myself. I had to get them. So with that, I think I'll end the video there. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, any questions you have, and subscribe for more stuff like this. Getting these boots probably won't prevent me from reviewing boots and or shoes or other hiking or adventure related products. So yeah, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching guys.